The Hong Kong stock market has fallen to a 15-month low, with the Hang Seng Index plunging just below 15,000. That's the lowest level since October 2022. It ended the day at 14,961, sliding 2.3 percent. Here to help explain what's behind this is Eugene Tang, managing editor of our business desk here at The Post. Thanks, Eugene, for joining us. So it's been three weeks, uh, capping three weeks of protracted losses. So what's behind all this? There are probably two major reasons. Um, the first one is the, the bigger picture, the macro macroeconomy issue, and that is to do with uh, interest rates. Mm -hmm. U.S. interest rates are high at 5.25%, uh, and that is like a giant magnet that sucks in international capital. So if you're, if you're a global fund manager, you, uh, it's easier for you to make money by putting money in the U.S. stock market than it is in Hong Kong. Um, that being said, uh, Hong Kong's uh, stock market right now is the cheapest uh, in Asia in terms of uh, forward-looking uh, price earnings ratio, and it is the one of the cheapest in the world. Um, so if it, w it will only be a matter of time before money comes does come back. For money to come back, you need some confidence. You need some sense of confidence. You need a big change. You need a big reason for money to be put here. Uh, right now, there are a few things which are on the horizon, which are clouding that outlook. One is the domestic economy, uh, the economy in Hong Kong, the economy on mainland China, uh, that is uh, not really giving international capital, and, and as well as local capital, the confidence to put money into the stock market. Now, if you're an um, you know, uh, average person uh, running a business or, or, or a, a highly salaried person in, in mainland China, uh, job prospects are a little bit uh, iffy right now. Um, pay raises and bonuses are questionable. So you, there's n really not that many reasons. There are not many, not, not that many reasons for you to put money into the stock market. So the people are really looking for a uh, a boost of confidence. So they look to the um, the government and the economy for signs that whatever malaise that the the mainland economy is in is. Uh, is hitting the floor or a, a, there's a, a turnaround up, ar around the corner. So I understand though that investors today were expecting some um, good news announcement on in terms of interest rates uh, change and they were disappointed. Is that part of the uh, reason as well? That's one of the reasons. Um, I think uh, we, we've seen the, the, the Chinese economy um, in stuck in a sort of a low gear uh, for, for a while now. And a lot of uh, people in the market are looking for the central bank and the government to unleash some kind of a stimulus uh, measure to, um, to kickstart the economy, so to speak. Uh, rightly or wrongly, they were uh, looking for the central bank to cut interest rates. Uh, that has not happened. Uh, mainly because the, centr the Chinese central bank is looking forward to the end of January and the beginning of February when the U.S. Federal Reserve holds its first um, meeting for the year where it will uh, provide the trajectory of how U.S. interest rates will go for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. So right now the market is expecting the Feds to start cutting interest rates uh, by the second half of the year. There are some people who are expecting that uh, that might be brought forward because uh, 2024 is an election year. Uh, it's always better to cut rates earlier than it is uh, than, than later. So uh, right now, people are looking forward to February the 1st, Hong Kong time, mm -hmm. for the first clear sign of where the U.S. is, uh, the Fed is uh, leaning towards. So what should we look out for in terms of the future direction of the market? Um, for the next uh, couple of weeks, until the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve gives a clear indication of what it wants to do with interest rate, we can expect rates to continue to be high, at least for the first half of the year. Mm -hmm. You're not going to see uh, a, a cut uh, until the second half. Mm -hmm. for that, for while that remains, um, the market will be under pressure. Mm -hmm. right? While that remains, uh, the market will uh, always be fighting a losing battle to, to interest rates. So the market really, l really needs to look for a good reason uh, for the confidence to, to pick up again. So um, they will also look to the Lianghui, the, the meeting of the MPC and the CPPCC in mainland China in uh, uh, beginning of March, mm -hmm. where they will look for uh, an indication of where China's macroeconomic policies are going to be, what the priorities are going to be. Uh, and where the uh, various uh, means and measures to um, get growth back on, on track will be.
In the run-up to the Chinese New Year period, uh, the Lunar New Year, is there are there any signs of a market turnaround? Do you see? Uh, probably not. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll let, let's talk again after February the 1st, uh, after the U.S. Federal Reserve gives a clear indication of what it plans to do, then we'll have a clear idea. Right. Thanks so much, Eugene, for your insights. And you can read more about the latest market results at scmp.com.